guys this video is about uh, vogel's approximation method for uh, solving a transport a transportation problem so uh, i don't know whether it is there for uh, regular students uh, but this is uh, in the syllabus of uh, advanced students fine uh, so in this problem you are given with this uh, transportation model so these are the uh, sources and these are the destinations this is supply and this is demand and uh, here uh, see the row difference and the column difference so this may look a bit complex but it's quite easy let me explain so what we you will do is first we'll calculate the row difference so how do we calculate the row difference uh, look at this uh, first row so in this first row uh, look for the least two elements so what are the least two elements one and then three so what's the difference between 1 and 3? The difference is 2. So you write here 2. Then uh, move to the next row. In this particular row, which are the most, uh, sorry, least two elements. So least two elements are uh, 2 and 5. So difference between 2 and 5 is 3. So here you write 3. And uh, this particular row, 3 and 2. So you will write uh, 1 over here. And now uh, column difference. So in the first column, uh, least uh, two elements are three and two and the difference is one so right here one then um, in this uh, column b one and three so difference is two right here two and in this uh, column five and three so difference is two right here two and uh, two and uh, four so difference is two now uh, in this first iteration uh, look for the maximum uh, element in the uh, row or uh, column Okay, uh, my names are just summante uh, for a maximum number in this particular. Okay, so maximum here is 3. So highlight this uh, 3. Okay, now look for in this particular row corresponding to this number 3, this particular row, uh, look for the least element. So least element is th uh, 2 corresponding demand and supply so demand is 250 and supply is uh, 400 which is the least uh, demand is less so you will uh, subtract demand so 250 minus 250 here it comes 0 and 400 minus 250 is 150 so you write here 150 and what did we subtract we subtracted 250 so write here 250 in this box over here about this 2 fine and uh, attraction what I told you is uh, 0 so attraction will be towards 0 so cut off this column fine now we are left with this okay now again in this second iteration what you will do is again find the row difference and column difference so this column is cancelled out so in uh, next iteration you don't need the uh, least uh, difference of the least uh, two least elements okay so you will put a dash over here now in this column so what are the two least uh, three and one right so difference is two you will write two uh, these all remain same two two and um, in this row yeah so here it um, it's cut off right three is cut uh, striked off so we will look for the rest elements one and four so difference is three six and nine the difference is three uh, three and two difference is one okay oops um, sorry not 6 and 9 this is uh, 6 and 5 so the difference is 1 least 2 elements now uh, in this particular uh, patch we will look for the maximum element so maximum is 3 right so we will uh, look for the corresponding row in this particular row 3 is already strike off uh, don't give uh, sorry uh, don't bother uh, then the least one among these one uh, these 3 is 1 so corresponding demand and supply so demand is 350 and supply is 300 300 is less so subtract 300 here is 0 and here comes 50 and uh, right here 300 in a small box and uh, where is the 0 0 is here so attraction will be this side strike off this row cool so we are done with the second iteration 2 right then the third iteration this here it's a dash then here it's a dash okay this uh, row is striped off and this column is striped off now 6 minus 3 it's 3 5 minus 3 it's 2 9 minus uh, 2 is 7 and uh, uh, this is 1 and this is also 1 which is the greatest greatest is 7 okay 
so uh, what is the corresponding column so corresponding column is this 4 is striked off consider 9 and 2 2 is the least so what are the corresponding demand and supply 200 and 500 so 200 is less strike off 200 um, subtract 300 right here 200 because you subtracted it there uh, 0 is this side so attraction will be this side strike off this okay so we will need uh, one more iteration of so we are short of space it's okay we'll adjust now in the next iteration, this column is also striked off. So you will put a dash here, dash here. Okay, six and three, it's three, five and three, it's two. Now here, it's a dash, six and five, it's a one, three and three, it's a zero. Now in this patch, we will look for the maximum element. The maximum element is three, highlight this three, look for the corresponding column. So the corresponding column in this, the least one is three. Uh, what are the demand and supply 50 and 300 50 is less uh, so 0 and subtract 50 here it comes 250 and you write here 50 and uh, 0 is this side so attraction will be this side strike of this four. now finally we are left with 5 and uh, 3 right now finally we are left with only two elements in this particular column so we need not iterate once again just uh, see which one is the least one so 3 is the least one uh, 3 is the least one so what are the corresponding demand and supply 400 is the demand and uh, 250 is the supply so 250 is smaller uh, subtract this so you are left with 150 and uh, right here 250 okay and strike uh, zero which side is zero he zero is here so strike of this this row is cancelled now finally we are left with this five what are the corresponding demand and supply so 150 and 150 it is totally balanced so we will subtract 150 and you will write here you will strike of this column now we will write the solution how do we write the solution is see uh, uh, is small boxes is I think is Kunaro. So this 1 into 300 plus 2 into 250 plus 5 into 150 plus 3 into 50 plus 3 into 250 plus 2 into 200. Let's calculate. So the answer is 2850. So this is the solution using uh, Vogel's approximation method. So, so far we have covered all five uh, uh, methods of solving a transportation problem which are first was uh, Northwest model, second we covered column minima, third we covered uh, row minima and fourth we covered uh, least cost and uh, fifth one was least approximation, uh, sorry, 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 Vogel's approximation method. That's it. Thank you.